Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created us for a purpose, my brothers and sisters. We have not come here but for a purpose. And that purpose is very clear. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before us had created another creation and they had a purpose. They were the jinns. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he created them, he had created them many thousands and thousands of years before us. And Allah has said in the Holy Quran about them, As for the jinns, I have created them out of fire. And these jinns, Allah gave them an, a nature of their own. They were not made of, like we, we were made of turab, we were made of the soil, we were made of the dust that is under our feet. But as for the shayateen, they are made of fire. And it is in their nature that they are fiery. It is in our nature to be humble. Before we were created, before Adam was created, as we know, Iblis was amongst the jinn. Iblis was not, a, not a, an angel. Iblis was amongst the jinn. Very briefly, what happened is that on the earth, Allah had created many jinns. There were no humans. And at that time, the uh, jinns would fight with one another. They were rebellious. They were a nation that had this fiery nature. Small things they would fight and they would kill one another. And in fact, Allah had sent many messengers amongst them, many jinn messengers amongst them. And these jinn messengers came, they gave them da'wah towards Allah, told them to be good on the earth. And instead of listening to these messengers, they began to kill these messengers. And amongst them was a very good saint, a wali of Allah, a close one to Allah, one who was always listening to the messengers on the earth, one who was always worshipping God, one who was one, a jinn that was always on the right side and was not saying anything wrong against the messengers. He was none other than Iblis, who later became Iblis. But at that time he was a good jinn and he continued to worship Allah, worship Allah, worship Allah until uh, those days the jinns used to go to the, um, to the universe. They could go, out, even today, they can go outside the sky and they can go into the universe. But those days, they could, the jinns could go right to the, to the uh, doorway, there's a gateway uh, from between the end of our universe and the beginning of the second sky. Basically, we are on this earth, our universe, end of our universe is one sky. And Allah has created like this, like the, the rings of an onion. A layer upon a layer, Allah has created this uh, great, uh, you know, seven heavens. Now, Iblis began to worship Allah until Allah gave him the maqam. He gave him a status. His status was that he not only had surpassed all the other uh, jinns on the earth, and in the, the you know, jinns can fly, jinns can you know, hover uh, in the middle of the air if they want. Jinns can go underwater, they can live underwater. Jinns have not got the same restrictions as we have. So Iblis started to worship Allah. Until he worshipped him, worshipped him, until Allah gave him a maqam and gave him a status that he went above the first universe and he got into the second universe. And he then started to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there. And he worshipped and he worshipped Allah with the angels now. He was worshipping Allah. But he was after something. He wasn't doing it for free. He wanted something in return. So he wanted to be in charge. He wanted to slowly, slowly, you know, become a big politician. You know, he wanted to get voted by everybody to be in charge of the jinns on the earth. So he didn't do it for free. So Allah knew why he was doing it. Allah knew, Allah said, okay, come, come. See, let's, let's see how far you can go. You should do your worship to be humble. Why are we doing worship? To be humble. Whoever is humble for the sake of Allah, Allah will lift him up. This is, these are Allah's laws. Whoever is, is arrogant, Allah will smite him onto the ground. These are Allah's laws. These are not man-made laws. So if you want to become someone in Allah's kingdom, you have to follow Allah's laws. Now Iblis continued, continued. He got to the third sky, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, and then he went to the seventh one. Then he got close as the Muqarrabeen uh, min al-Malaika. Those who were the closest of the angels, he was amongst them. Then he gave the proposal. He said, oh Allah, if only you would send me with a group of angels to go back to the earth and to fight and kill all these rebellious jinns on the earth wipe the earth from it Allah gave him permission go ahead send the angels with Iblis Iblis was the leader at this time of this group of, of an army they came down to the earth and there was only jinns on the earth and they killed all the rebellious jinns Al -jan -marada. they left some jinn some jinn who were not so rebellious remained now they returned back after the victory and now Iblis was thinking Inshallah Inshallah 
My time is coming, right? I'm going to get there. I'll get there. He's thinking that Allah is going to make another uh, a khilaf on the earth. He's going to make a vice on the earth. A person who's representing Allah's laws on the earth. And after all my ibadah, I'm the one who deserves to get it. After my ibadah, I should get it. I have to get it. I must get it. And that's when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then put everyone to a test. When your Lord said to the angels, I'm about to make on the earth a vice -gerent. The close angel said, Oh Allah, are you going to make, make somebody on the earth? Just as the jinns has corrupted the earth, are you going to now make a new creation? Oh Allah, we are praising you as angels by day and by night. Why would you want to do that? We don't understand. We're not objecting to that, but we don't understand. Allah said, I know something which you do not know. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then, then he gave the order to all the uh, angels. And it was that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala basically uh, made uh, Adam alayhi salatu salam come alive. All of them bowed to Adam alayhi salatu salam. Illa Iblis. Iblis thought, my God, this creature, this thing, him, after all my tens and tens of years of ibadah, on the earth I started and got to the first sky, the second one, third one, fourth one. Allah took him to the highest level then dropped him. I thought after all of that, this is, this is it now. I'm not going to get what I wanted. He thought, I'm not going to battle. All of them bowed down. All of them subdued. Illa Iblis. He's the only one standing here. I am better than him. He's giving arguments. He's not only saying that uh, I didn't want to do it for this. No, he said, no, I have the right not to do it. I'm better than him. I'm more deserving than him. I'm more deserving than him. Just by three words, just by three words, Iblis fell from the highest of abodes to the lowest. <laughs>